Hello, this is Greg Holskill on Revival Valley. And I believe now is the time for a new generation of leaders to rise up. And this isn't to displace old leaders, but it's to empower another generation to hear the gifts in their callings and to step out and start risking in the leadership realm. And what I mean by that is taking responsibility for some of the things that the Lord has been putting on your heart to do. And your time of training is now ending and your time of leading and doing and calling others alongside of you is now that time. One time when I was asking the Lord about revival, I was looking across in a vision that I was having as I was praying with Jesus, as I saw all these sheep on the other side of a fence, and there was just all these sheep and they were milling around and they were looking at their leaders for what they should be doing. And in the midst of all those sheep, eventually people started to rise up here and there throughout all of the sheep. And it represented disciples of Christ who were maturing and were turning into leaders. And it was the main part of the, the leaders of the whole flock to recognize them, to bless them, and to release them into ministry. And that's one of the most important things for a leader to do is to see who Jesus Christ is raising up and to bless them and start releasing them into the activities of the kingdom as a leader. And so this is one of the things that on the other side, ministry leaders need to recognize and release, but on the other side, New disciples or growing disciples need to recognize that now is their time and that you are the first person that Jesus Christ is calling to do an action in the region or the place that you're a part of. Maybe to start something at your company, maybe to do something in your neighborhood and you're Christ's first person that he's asking you to start something. He is amazed by your capacity because he's the one who instilled the capacity in you to love a generation, to instill the kingdom in a neighborhood or a region. And you are equipped, you are able to do that. So I'm calling you up, up, calling you up to be the leader that you're supposed to be. And so I want to bless you. And I also want to let you know that leaders around you are starting to see and they're going to start calling you up. This is a prophetic word almost that they're going to start calling and asking you to step out. And it's not because they don't want to do much. It's because they know that revival happens when more and more disciples of Christ step into their calling and they're trying to empower you. They're trying to encourage you to step out into the fullness of who Christ is making you to be. It's an awesome journey. It's a risky journey, but the Lord is in it and you can be in it too by saying yes to the things that God is doing. I believe that revival really is the culmination of the simple yeses that each disciple of Christ starts making. As disciples make more disciples, as the likeness of Christ deepens in each one of us, we start responding and reacting with the love of Christ and the love of the Father everywhere we go. And as we do that, the landscape of our region, our companies, our neighborhoods, our schools are going to change as we bring the love of the Father and the power of the Holy Spirit and we start walking like Christ walked here on the earth. We're going to start changing our places. So I just want to encourage you to that there's a time of rising up, that the, the sh there's sheep of many, there's many sheep out in the fold, but it's time for people to start maturing, time for people to start growing into the fullness that God has made them. And it's an exciting time. And I know you will say yes, because the Lord is with you and he wants you to prosper in everything that he's given you to do and to make the name of Jesus Christ great in your area. My favorite blessing is to say, I pray that the book of Acts would be rewritten in your city, your neighborhood, your company, and your family. That the same words and the same works that the disciples then proclaimed will happen again in your area. In Jesus' name, God bless.